Hello, this is Mortromain and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Learn StarCraft 2. And today will be about PvZ. I wanted to do an episode by about my road rush against Protosses, but it seems most Protosses, and they are not many, uh, are only can cannon rushing. So I managed to play two games where I was able to do the road rush and the others are about cannon rush and I'm pretty bad at handling cannon rushes so while well, it's a good thing I'm trying to learn how to deal with it so yeah enjoy so this is my first attempt at the roach push against Protoss uh, I'm making two queens metabolic boost I'm joining up and I have my overlord to scout I see one adept leaving and if we look at what I said last time, if I see adept coming, I need to be dealing. So that's what I'm doing, is, and that's where my build order ends. I uh, just know I need to build a watch warren when I can. Not exactly sure when I can. I could now, and I don't have many lava, so I guess the timing is now. So I'm a bit late with this. All right. A few seconds late. So six zergling is more than enough for one adept. It's good to know. I, I should have kept going after him, but I didn't. Let's fast forward a bit. I'm joining up, I'm preparing overlords in advance, and I'm making 12 watches, which I think is a bit much, but I had the money, I had the gas, I had the lava and the supply, so if I'm late, I, I should do them. Uh, probably, if I can get the Roach Warren faster, I won't be able to have that much gas. The thing is, in this build, compared to the Terran one, uh, I get my gas way earlier. So, I end up with more gas. Oh, it's not on my camera. Let me get back. Okay, so, I'm building my third when the Roach is getting there. I poked with the Dergling to see what was going on. I didn't build any Dergling. I think if I had done it, I would have won. Straight up. But right now he's kiting. I still killed the one immortal. And the second one, and then the, the, the push is ended. So, with this, I'm not sure the push was a good idea. I'm behind the supply, I have a bit more drones, I'm still droning up like mad. I have my third, and that's it. I'm, I'm way behind, I didn't, like, I have a lot of money, so I kind of messed up doing all of this. Uh, the thing is, I was focused on the fight, so you can see I have too much drones in my natural. And I, I, I guess I'm not sure what to do, so I... Be because I have a lot of money, I build gases, uh, but it's not like I'm not in a. didn't play it well enough to exactly know what I should do. Except maybe taking a fourth, and uh, maybe in this. with this amount of money, I would need a, a macro hatch, probably. But the thing is, I need. I'm building roaches. I should take up what I'm doing yet, and I didn't. It's just. Because it was my first try, uh, I needed to get my bearings after the rush. And the thing is, I need, with that much money in gas, I should have started like upgrades, the lair, and everything way, way earlier. And with macro hatches and a bunch of overloads. So, let's see the next one. Okay, second try. My overloads arrive at his base. I just finished metabolic boost. I'm checking what's happening in his wall to see if I see adept or not. And I'm not. Yeah, I see one adept and he's leaving. So I make zerglings. I had. I don't know why I had some zerglings. Not sure. I think he was like poking with the 
with a drone and I, I, I made two derglings to handle it. And I kind of messed up here because I just finished the Witch Warren and I'm building derglings. Like I was panicking because of adapts, I, I'm not sure why. So I end up with a, a bunch of derglings, which I don't want, I won't watch. The thing is, because I made the zerglings and because my watches are slow, what will happen is uh, just wait for it a bit. Really lost a bunch of time. Yeah, I went for the third, and Adepts were watching this, so he recorded them, and so he's not seeing the roaches. He's seeing the zerglings, but not the roaches. And I decided to get around, not in the center, uh, to avoid being being scouted but uh, some of the roach is still getting there and is attacking me with an oracle and I'm really not prepared for it I don't know if it's the build or if I messed up I don't have that much money but I'm not sure I have a lot of drones either okay now I use the roaches with um, to open the path for the zerglings and once the zerglings are in uh, it's way better and I do a ton of damage so let's I was loop trying to macro while doing this which is I think a good idea starting at five minutes that's when roaches arrived at the base uh, in the last try so let's look at everything roaches are not there yet because I'm late like I said uh, still I'm taking three gases and I not sure I need them I don't have a lot of drone. So yeah, bad idea. So I'm waiting for all my roaches. Uh, I was panicking because of the record. I send the roaches first. And like, even if no derglings could have come in, I think I win here. Okay, I have too much compared to what he had. That's because he made a target and didn't make a void ray out of it. So yeah, I have zerglings in his base, killing probes. And I'm destroying everything down there. He has no prediction. So yeah, a pretty good success even though I kind of messed up. Uh, this went very well. So, with this try, what I learned is having zerglings with this uh, make it really stronger it's not like uh, against Terran uh, because the because the wall is over there like I can't stack a lot and the roaches while killing a depot if there's a tank they're useless and they take a lot of damage but against Protoss like there's usually one or two units over there like roaches come one shot or two shot what's blocking and the zerglings get in right away and once the zerglings are in it's okay and I guess this is because the wall is on the low ground it's a, a bigger wall maybe I'm not sure why it seems easier maybe the units are not well suited for this for Protoss so yeah next time so I'm making the witch warren I'm making drones I'm making roaches as soon as I can, and then one round of zerglings. Like I did it the other way around this time, because I was afraid of the um, of the adapt, but it, it worked pretty well. So I want zerglings with this, and as soon as I can, I want a third and queens. Like I didn't scout it here. Like the adapt came pretty fast. I should check what he was doing. So let's see, he's making one gateway. He expands right away. I guess the cybernetic core comes after. He's not making anything out of his gateways. What kind of units does he have? Only one adapt. And he's making one adept and one stalker. Okay, and the target is on. So he went for the target as soon as he could. Where is it? Over there. 
in the toilet cancer. Yeah, okay. So let's see the timing of the adapt of the oracle. The oracle comes out, I already have the watch wire. Then and the roaches are done. Problem is I'm not sure I can scout this. Like this target could be here and he has a, a stalker. Like I would like to doesn't do anything for the bush, but I want to know if I need to build uh maybe I don't need a spore. I just need queens. Like my queen should be in my mi mineral line. I guess. This is probably a good habit to have. And maybe I want more queens. But I already spent the money for this. So, yeah. If I position my queens better and make more faster, I should be right. I guess. So, yeah. This will be my build for now. I'm not sure when the witch wine should be put down. Let's see. Because this is a more economic opening than uh, the one with Terran. Okay, so I'm making zerglings like mad here. Okay, so the queens are building. What do I have in units? I need to, yeah, I could almost get it now. I, I just spent all my larvas, so the watch range should be put down now. Just when the queens arrive. Yeah, that's kind of what I did. Could be a few seconds faster, but I mean, I don't think a few seconds at my level will change a lot of things. Yeah, I just spent the inject. Yeah, it could have been like two seconds before this. Ah, I might be losing like around 10 seconds. It doesn't matter. What I can say is... So, the adept disappears. So it just... When... Queen finished... A roach wire. I'm just... I usually not putting this. But I think it's a good... Way to remember when to do stuff. When the pool is done, you make two drones and one overlord. You wait. Like, I'm not waiting anymore, so... Like, I had this because I was making zerglings after the overlord, but, like, I didn't care, so this is not really... I don't know. Didn't play Protoss for a while, and it's always a cannon rush, so I'm not sure if I need to write this down or not. Because I'm not sure the overlord should come after the two drones. He should come later. I'll put them in parenthesis, and next time I'll see... I feel like I need to have it in my build or not. I should just make, okay, drones and overlord should always be made. And how many zerglings should I make? Should I make? Because I made way too many. But in the end I only saw one adapt. I came out with it. Went back and then he threw another one and like my overlord should have kept here. And what was what was happening? The thing is he's throwing the adept when he has some something else to to plug the wall. So maybe I should have seen them and I think just to be safe, maybe it's too much, but I want six per adept. Okay, this is starting to be more precise. So Let's try another game. So this game starts with a cannon rush. Well, let's speed up a bit. I'm trying to, to annoy him with drones, but I don't want to lose any of them. Uh, I was late. I could have cancelled the, the hatch. Maybe. Yeah, I could have cancelled the hatch. But I was like, I don't know if he can reach my hatch from there, like, I, I wasn't sure it was dangerous and I don't want to cancel my hatch now and make him cancel everything so I don't know, I, I kept it, I don't know if it's right or wrong 
in the end I lose the hatch but I have a lot of money and the fact that the cannons are firing at the hatch allows me to get a bunch of devlings inside so what does he have? He's making voyeurs which is a classic way of protos to follow up the cannon rush and he's protecting his mineral line so I can't do much Maybe I should have kept my zerglings over there, I don't know. Because it was a long distance mining, so it was better for me. Anyway, what am I doing in my base? I'm getting a roach warren, and the idea was to get ravages, but I was supply blocked. And the problem is, it takes a long time to do it. And the void comes. and I stopped the push but in the meantime it took a th second base and I'm only now starting to make mine I will take a third one just right after and I'm because I have a lot of money I can build uh, spore crawlers to defend against the voyagers but he, he will not be sending them so let's see, let's start from the beginning and what should I be doing so I already tried in this situation to use a bunch of zerglings and try and kill the, the cannons but it doesn't work. Like cannons are too strong for zerglings. Uh, what can work is to have roaches and but you, you need quite a lot of them to, to kill everything. So the question is when should I build the roach warren? I made a queen. I could have made an, uh, make another I think and the roach warren could have been a bit earlier then I'm supply blocked then I forget about the ravages because I was feeling like trying to kill one cannon with uh, the spine crawlers and the uh, electrons fuse from the queens so yeah I lost a lot of time but still like I'm ahead in supply I still have the same amount of drones like the supply is not really informative because cannons doesn't count as supplies I should be because I know there will be voidries after I should be building more queens and the watch warren probably should have been sooner like like the second the spawning pool spawns I make two queens and I make metabolic boost and I kind of want it because I will want to send zerglings in his base uh, right when I can uh, maybe the spore wasn't necessary but I think it's safe to do it so I'm fine like this I, I would keep my build against roach uh, against cannon rushes like that but right now I should put the, the roach warren I think oh but I want to build more zerglings yeah and more overlords uh, still, I think the Roach Warren is more important in this case. I'm doing quite a lot of damage here. But while this is happening, I could have made more Queens. Uh, the gas could have been earlier. So yeah, I kind of panic, I don't know what to do. But I'm not sure how things will line up if I'm focused and doing it right. So, i am write it down. Keep the hatch, because I want one more queen and as soon as I can I build two queens metabolic boost and the spine so in this case the spine might not have been very useful like I tried to fiddle with it later but like it's not really like the roaches could have done the same the problem is in many situation cannon rush happens over there and I don't want a probe to get there and build cannon on the high ground that is why I need the, the spine and this is also why I want a queen, a second queen because I want an inject to make zerglings and I want one creep tumor like to put a creep over there allow my queens to travel and forbid construction in this area so when I have the larva I want 10 zerglings and I want one tumor with the queen 
And as fast as I can, I want a watch Warren. And probably a second gas. And while this is, is building, I should build drones to saturate the mineral line and the two gases. I think I want the watch Warren faster than I want uh, Queens. So it's really like it's written here. Watch Warren, second gas, more drones. And queens, probably constantly queens. Like if I'm not supply blocked, uh, there's no way. Because after this, I have a lot of money. Like I, I have trouble spending all my money uh, with only one base of lava. Uh, when this goes too high, maybe I should build a second hatch. But I'm not sure. Like I missed inject. I was supply blocked. So maybe it's okay if I build if I have ravages. Uh, I can spend all my money. I'm not sure about it. And I don't know how many ravages I need. So I build as much as I can. Alright, so this will be my answer to cannon rushes for now. And now let's see what happens during the rest of the game. So I build my third, it's taking an early third too, and I think it's right too, because like if I see units, yeah he has only hair, so he's kind of safe. But he's not attacking with it. And I was going to go for either, but I, I went back and, and build a spire instead to make a bunch of corruptors. I'm trying to poke him, but he has a lot of cannon, like puts a very high amount of them so I just I'm building corruptors I'm taking more bases because I want more gas and I'm joining quite heavily uh, because I need a lot of gas and I want to be able to replenish the corruptors whenever it's necessary and I'm getting double upgrades like I built another spire for it uh, I'm trying to, to find ways to kill the cannons with ravagers, with uh, the corruptors just behind. But it's not working very much. Like he's building even more cannons. At some point I decide to, to go in. Like I'm maxed out on corruptors, so this makes 42 corruptors. He has 6 tempests, 7 carriers. Seven voideries and one mothership. And I go in, I kill the mothership, I try to kill some carriers, and in the end I get wrecked because all the cannons over there th they have insane DPS. So yeah, I die without doing a lot of damage. Or at least that's what I was feeling. Um, I killed some of his vessels. But it was not enough. Like I have 3 3 now, and the way I'm getting Infestors upgrade, I won't use them. And I'm remaxing uh, with Corruptor. Not exactly remaxing, but almost. And that's when I realized I need more gas. So I will take the gases on this base, and I will take these two base quite. Uh, I, I want to say fast, but it seemed fast during the game. I'm not sure it is in reality. But yeah, I, I have a bunch of Corruptor again. And I, th I decided to not attack, like I can't attack into these cannons, so I'm just trying to keep uh, him away from getting gro from growing. And it's quite hard, in fact, because like Corruptors don't shoot on the ground, and I don't have a ground army that is strong enough. And this, I think, is a mistake. Like I should have like 12 watches, something like this, to, to avoid him building this base. So in the end, I'm getting it in, I'm trying to kill the cannons with characters, but it's, it's not very successful. So I get away, I'm taking these two bases, he's taking this one, and at some point I decide to play the same game he's playing and make a bunch of uh, spine crawlers because I have 12k in the bank so I can build drones uh, and build spines everywhere. I should have done the same with uh, Spore. I did it a bit 
like over there. But I should have built a bunch of them everywhere, I think. I, I didn't realize when I was playing, uh, he's really struggling with mineral. And he's spending a lot of money and he's not concerning all of this. And I, I stopped because I was feeling like it would be handless. But in fact, it, like I should have continued pushing over there and make him more build more, more cannons. So yeah, in the end, I'm building spine crawlers, and because I have the queens, I am able to transfuse them. Like first, I stop the progression of cannons, and then with my queens, I can push them back because I can transfuse. And this takes quite a long time. Meanwhile, he's making a ton of voiders. Like he comes with Tempest and like snipe my spines, and he's safe over his cannons, so I can't reach him with uh, corruptors. And I, at this point, I was kind of defeated. I mean, in my mind, like I was like, "There's no way I can beat that." So I'm trying it, but I'm losing some corruptors. He's getting back, so in the end I'm not... Like, I gain time, but that's it. Like, the cannons can go forward. I can snipe my creep tumors, so I won't be able to stop him like this. So, so I'm making bl a few broodlords. Uh, thinking this might be a better way than Spine to kill the, the cannons. And like he's sniping them with the Tempest and what I'm realizing is like the cannons are shooting the broodlings. So if they're shooting the broodlings, I can use my Corruptors to kill the Tempest. So I'm making a few more broodlords to make sure like most of the cannons are shooting at the ground before sending the, the Corruptors. And I was fiddling with uh, like control groups hotkey too. And this worked pretty well. So starting from there, I'm um, more than fine to, to destroy this. It still takes a long time because of the shield batteries. But at some point, like, I'll g I'm getting there. And I didn't realize, like, he was mined out everywhere. Like, he's taking this base, I saw him, I tried to forbid him from getting it. But not with the Broodlords, I sent a few Zerglings, but, like, he built cannons. Uh, and it was, like, I didn't have enough supply to build a, a strong ground army to get there. At some point, he is attacking my hatcheries with uh, his probes and he's getting in like with his air army so let's get back to see the fight so I'm sieging his, his third like with a bit of infrastructure in them but like there's no mineral here it's not very important but I didn't knew what to do at this point so he's coming with his 23 voideries uh, sniping a few broodlords and now the fight will begin and my corruptors are melting like I didn't do anything like, I think I killed only uh, interceptors I'm not sure I was watching the fight let's go to my can Yeah, it took, like, <laughs> I didn't do any damage and I lost everything. But that's fine, I can build 44 Corruptors and go back at it. That's when I realized I should have built a bunch of Spore everywhere to help me defend. And again, like, I don't lose, like, it doesn't lose anything from this fight. And I was watching it, at least I think. At the beginning of the fight, I have 45 Corruptors, you have 24 Voideries, 4 Carriers, and 6 Tempest, and 1 Mothership.
I killed the mother ship and look how fast I lose my army and I killed nothing and I I thought the carrier was responsible for this but because I don't see how many voidries he has and I guess voidries like corruptors might not be very good against voidries they have bonus versus armored I guess corruptors are armored let's wait for some to build yeah, they are armored. So they do 13 damage with a weapon, sp weapon speed of 0.36, which I, I'm not sure what it means. I'm doing 17 and I'm way, way slower. So I do a lot less damage. I have 5 armor. I have 3. Okay. And I sti it still feels like it's better. Like. The Voidra is better than a Corruptor. And he has his ability. Yes, he does even more damage against Corruptors when the ability is used. So I don't know, maybe I should have used like Investors to, to fangle this and get away. But I'm not sure. Like my Voidra, like pro players never build Voidras. Uh, but they seem pretty strong in this situation. Uh, maybe Hydra was the answer. But the thing is, I already tried to build Hydras against Mass Air, but maybe it was Mass Carrier. So, yeah, maybe Hydras would have been better. I think I have the upgrades, but not all of them. But I made the upgrades, just in case, so I could have built uh, an Hydra army. Maybe the, with a, some Corruptors in s support could be fine, or some Infestors to steal the Carrier. But even during the fight, I didn't never realized he had that many voidries. So in the end, several fights happened. I was out of lava, and soon out of gas also, and so I can't do I can't do much. So I guess I I won't write it down because it doesn't rely on one specific build or response to something. <coughs> but first, uh, I should have kept enough supply for a ground army like to be able to deny this base uh, to be able to do some damage like some ravagers I, I tried it with four but maybe with 12 ravagers I could have done a lot more damage here with corruptor just behind and like the answer to voiders is not corruptors it might be for tempest and carrier and mothership but not for not for voiders like, two fungal on this would have done a lot of damage. So that might be what what I need. Some infestors, but like infestors, I, I have trouble using them. Anyway, in the end, I lose this game. So I'll have to find an answer. I, maybe I have an answer for the cannon rush, if I do it properly. But I need an answer for my Voidry. And I think the... The patch to come will buff them, so probably a lot of people will use Voidries. Okay, in this game, I th thought it would be a regular game. Like, I don't know if regular is the, the good term, but uh, no cannon rushes. So I'm I'm happy because I'll be able to do my roach push. And now I see this. And like, I'm really annoyed. I don't know how to react to this. Uh, I built two spines because I figure I have some time to do to react. I tried to kill this probe, but I can't. Uh, what do I do? Yeah, and I'm building zerglings, like to defend. And I f think I, yeah, forgot the metabolic boost, which is kind of annoying. But like I can defend for a while. Uh, I, I figured I forgot speed way later when I wanted to attack so I'm trying to deny uh, his advance I'm building queen do I have the root warren? it's on the way like the build is completely different here there are a lot of different uh, cannon rushes possible so I'm pretty happy about like what's happening here but I didn't so like I saw the robo but didn't notice it and then it come with uh, immortals, 
and I don't have speed and the prism and I'll be in trouble so question is does he have the warp prism already? no, he doesn't so if I had speed right now I could do more probably and I have a bunch of lava so macro is important as ever so with speed and zerglings I think I could have killed all of this uh, maybe like right when the immortal comes yeah I could have had 20 more zerglings and speed would probably be finished now so yeah I screwed up but what annoys me is because there is so many different types of cannon rushes uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of what I need to do and the problem is I didn't knew what to do like before the immortal came I even considered building more drones what do I have? I have four queens and I could have a lot more zerglings which they are on the way but I don't have metabolic boost which is kind of a problem but maybe I should have attacked right now like if I wait I'll have he has void rays in a few minutes and more immortals and a warp prism so I can't I can't do much against this and against immortals and voiders I don't think building roaches is a good idea that's what I end up doing like right after this I think I'm building roaches but I probably shouldn't this I won't make a big daughter for this because it doesn't happen very often like sometimes they build a robo but they build it like in your base they kill the second hatchery and then they build a robo and just one side note I lost to uh, another cannon rushes before I just I, I messed up I forgot the the pool so I didn't show the the game but the guy built two cannons in range of the hatch and the hatch could not finish the queen like the hatch finished but the queen inside could not finish so I don't think this is a good idea because I won't be able to know if my hatch will live long enough or not so I won't keep the hatch in and with this money it will be easier to build the spine so yeah that's it for this game <laughs>